Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and today I thought I would have a bit of a reading day and do a bit of a reading vlog. So I have no plans today and I thought I would spend the whole day reading. This is something that I like to do every now and then if I get the chance. don't get the chance that often, um, but I really, really enjoy reading books in one sitting and I really, really enjoy dedicating like one whole day just to reading as much as I can in a day. So that's what I'm going to do today. I've got nothing else on and I'm just going to read all day. Um, it's eight o'clock in the morning now and I'm going to try and read till like seven or eight at night and um, I'll see when I get to. Uh, I'm not going to read all the evening necessarily but I'm going to read all the day during the day um, and then stop in 11 or 12 hours um, and I'll see how many books I can get through which I'm really looking forward to. I haven't been able to do this for a few months um, and this is something that I really enjoy doing. So in terms of what I'm going to be reading today one thing I'm definitely going to be picking up is this. This is The Waiting Years by Fumiko Enchi. This is a Japanese classic that I'm really excited to read um, and it's very little so I'm sure I can read this today um, along with several other things and then I thought for the rest of my reading I would leave it up to chance and let my TBR bucket slash jar decide. In my TBR jar here and this little spotty bucket um, I have the names of all the books that have been on my shelves since before Christmas 2020 so the books that have been on my shelves for the longest um, and I thought I would just pick out a few titles from here today um, and get through these. Um, I will put them back if they're really really long because I if I have a whole day to read I'd like to read multiple things um, but we will see. So Ah, the first thing I picked out is The Good Soldier. This is another classic. This is a British classic from 1915 and one that has been sitting on my shelves for a little while, um, probably about a year now, and that I've mean to get to for ages. Hopefully it will be an interesting read. And again, it's not too long. I think it's like 200, 300 pages. Yeah, 240 pages. So hopefully one I can get through today as well. Ah, and next I have The Doll Factory. This is The Doll Factory by Elizabeth McNeil. This is a work of historical fiction set in the Victorian period, I believe set around the Great Exhibition. I've been meaning to read this for ages. Um, it sounds really intriguing and I've heard a few recommendations for it on Booktube. Um, this is a little bit longer. I think it's like nearly 400 pages. Um, yeah, 380 pages. So I think this will take me a little bit longer to get through. So I might end up only reading those three books today. Um, that's probably manageable for a day. But I'm going to pick one more title out of the jar just to see if um, I can get through another one. And we'll see how I get on. Ah, Disgrace. This is Disgrace by J.M. Coetzee that I've been meaning to read for ages. I think this is one of the books on my TBR that has been there for the longest. It is also quite short, it is 220 pages, but I feel like this is going to be a fairly dense and intense read, so we will see how I get through that today. So there we go, those are my four books for today. Um, I think that's probably enough to be getting on with, so I'm not going to pick out anything else out of the jar for now, um, but if I do manage to get through all of these in the next like 12 hours then I might pick something else out, but I think that's slightly unlikely. Um, I think I will start off with some of the shorter ones, maybe with The Waiting Years, um, and then leave The Doll Factory till later in the day, because I think that will take me the longest. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for all of these, so let's have a reading day and let's see how it goes. I will check in again soon. just finished reading The Waiting Games which I really really enjoyed. This is a Japanese classic from the 1950s um, but it's set from like the late 19th century up until 
the 1940s, I think, um, and it follows this family through time, um, specifically focusing on the kind of mistress of the household and, and what happens when her husband brings in concubines to the household and it follows the kind of complicated family dynamic with a lot about like gender power structures in Japan in the 20th century, which I really, really enjoyed. This was fantastic, so I'm very glad I finally got to this. Um, and next I am going to start The Good Soldier and see how I get on with this. Um, and I think I'm just going to go read the books in the order that I pulled them out of the jar um, earlier. So we'll start off with The Good Soldier and then I'll try and get on to The Doll Factory afterwards, but we'll see how long this takes me to get through. Really looking forward to this. I've heard great things about Ford and Alex Ford, so we will see. and I've just finished reading The Good Soldier. Um, I really enjoyed this. It kind of wasn't what I was expecting. Um, I think I had in my head that it was set during the First World War because it was published in 1915 and I think I got it confused with Ford Maddox Ford's later series, Parade's End, which I think is set during the First World War. But this is not. Um, this is more of a domestic story and it's about this married couple um, who are unhappily married and the man keeps having several affairs and several different mistresses over the course of the novel but it's kind of told from the perspective of another man who is the husband of one of the first man's mistresses um, and we're basically looking at the very complicated dynamics between this group of people um, but the thing I quite liked about this is that it's not told in a linear fashion and it kind of jumps all over the place in the storyline um, kind of as the main character is remembering which was quite interesting and reminded me quite a lot of The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro, which is a novel that I really like. So I enjoyed that about it. It was quite interesting actually reading this just after the waiting years because I feel like they have a lot of themes in common to do with like marriage and gender and um, faithfulness and unfaithfulness, I suppose. So very interesting. Um, so this took me a little bit longer than I was expecting, so I think I'm probably not going to manage to finish um, or indeed start uh, the doll factory today. Um, so I think I'm going to pick up Disgrace next because it's a bit shorter. Um, I think I will probably finish this off today and then I will try and get to the doll factory later in the month maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I've heard mixed things. I feel like this is going to be a fairly intense read, but hopefully I can finish this off today um, and I'll see how I get on with it. seven o'clock in the evening and I've just finished reading Disgrace which I really did not like. Um, I don't remember the last time I read a book I disliked this much. Um, just yeah, definitely not for me. Found it a very unpleasant book about very unpleasant people and I hated the main character so much and I feel like I don't know what the point of this, this book was but I feel like if it had a point I probably didn't like it. Um, I don't know, I feel like it's offensive on lots of different levels. This book is 22 years old and so it sort of almost feels contemporary but I also feel like if this book were written now it would be written very differently. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have too much to say about this novel um, because I really didn't like it but I also feel like I didn't quite get it. Um, I don't know. Um, but basically this is a book which is about a kind of um, middle-aged professor teaching in Cape Town um, who has a relationship which is 
not fully consensual um, with a very young student who's 20 um, and after this he is kind of dismissed from the university and banished in disgrace um, he goes to live with his daughter and then everything kind of goes on from there and there's lots of other complicated issues um, and a lot of stuff about gender which I didn't really think was very well done. I would, probably would have DNF'd this if it hadn't been very short and if I hadn't had a bit of time to read it today so I'm sort of glad that I finally got through it but I think I will be giving this to a charity shop and never reading it again. But there we go. <laughs> Regardless, it's been a decent day of reading. I managed to get through three books. Um, I liked these two very much um, and I did not like this at all. Um, but there we go. I feel like, so this I bought like five years ago, maybe even longer ago, and I feel like I'm now much better at picking books that I will like. Um, this is one of the books that have been in my TDR for the longest, um, and I feel like I wouldn't have bought this now. I probably would have known better. Not my kind of thing. But anyway, these two are great, so it's been a, a middling reading day. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, let me know if you've read any of the books and what you thought of them, um, and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.